next, the ballad of Jan and Alexa. Um, Okay, so the ballad of Jan and Alexa. All right, um, before you, before that, it is Alexa. Anyone starts shouting Alexa whilst we're doing this, we're going to kill you. All right. <laughs> Okay, so what's this about? Uh, it was about my personal experience as now a socially isolated elderly person, actually finding it quite nice to be able to converse with Alexa um, in terms of perhaps giving my blood pressure readings to monitor my cardiac condition. But I'm also interested in my day job in hooking that up to what is an open, an open data platform based on this open EHR technology, which they're using in NHS Scotland. So the, the the idea is there is a central data store to which all apps, however you get the data in, should write this data so it's in one place and can be used for whatever purpose. So we've hooked up Alexa to a smart, open standard data store. Okay, so this is where we play for the Wi-Fi gods. You want to get the, we're going to get a, a dashboard up, which should, if it all goes well, let you see that data coming in and being charted. Okay. <laughs> Live-ish demo. <coughs> okay, Alexa, ask Boya to store my blood pressure 120 over 80. Working 120 80. Alexa, ask Boya to store my peak flow rate 420. Working 420. Alexa, send the record to my doctor. Your doctor has now been sent your records. It'll go ping eventually, but it, it probably went into my spam bucket before. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, that is it. There All is right. Let's just get to it again. We, briefly, we had a fallback, which was for John to wear the Alexa on his head. <laughs> 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 Do you want me to do that bit? No, 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 no. All right, no, no, that's fine. Okay, so, so, okay, so obviously that is not the way we communicate, and the good Alexa skills have got far more, you know, better, better use of language and dialogue. But just in case, this is a scenario about where this could potentially go. So, Ian, give me a blood pressure reading. Uh, 180 over 110. Well, Ian, judging from the amount of whiskey that you've been ordering on your Amazon card recently, I suggest you cut back. But I'll send this record to your GP regardless. Thank you. Stuff like that. That's the idea. <laughs> Uh, so this is like the flowchart that we worked through to basically ask these questions, uh, store, systolic, diastolic. We've got a couple of other things in there, peak flow and a variety of different things. Uh, yeah, well, you've seen that bit. Um, done? Done. done. And it works. Done. Done. Well, sitting over there, uh, including a couple that couldn't make it. Um, amazing job. Oh, really, really pleased. Any questions? around um, sort of privacy, so sometimes people worry about where that data might go as a patient or as a, as a care or relative. And um, have you made any considerations around how the data storage might be really secure? That's a whole different kettle of fish, but there's, there's lots of issues about privacy and actually data quality. Um, but the, the conceptual idea of this is something we call a co-produced health record, where it is going to be in a properly, professionally managed environment, mm -hmm. however that is done, and that's someone else's problem. But it is professional quality data. Yeah. Yeah, and it tries to get around some of those governance issues about whether it's patient data or health data. It's a, it's a merge. Is, is your question not more about the use of Amazon, no? Well, yeah, it's around how that then gets to sure. whether or not it goes off to the state. And all yeah. Those uh, yeah, sure, that. sure. There's a, there are mil million <coughs> and one issues that happen. Yeah. But the, the, the data store would be in NHS official, or at least govern, you know, yeah. it, it would fit British privacy requirements, put it that way. Any other questions? Really pleased to see you guys using Open Air. Um, could it be run on fire as well? Uh, it, it could be. It could be. And in fact, we, it, it's quite possible we could put a fire interface between that. Um, there's, no, there's no reason to. But the data store would not work as well on fire, I suggest. The interface might be, but fire's not, not purposely as a data store. But that gets contentious. 
So uh, and my second question is, uh, I, I quite like the, uh, the secondary Alexa, who sounded quite a lot more kind of deep and manly, I think. Uh, <laughs> Alex, uh, probably due to Mike Cole as well. <laughs> I can see some future-proofing being needed where people uh, buy their whiskey through other sites so they can <coughs> hide their drinking amount. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so keen on that idea, friend. <laughs>